talk about how important this camp is to you to be able to, you know, give back to, uh, to your community. Well, like I always say, I mean, it's the most important thing to me, you know, to be able to come back in the summertime and give back to the, to the youth. You know, a lot, of, a lot of young guys that look up to me, you know, and uh, me to be able to just give back to the community where I was born and raised and also, you know, give these kids the opportunity, you know, just to see, you know, a guy like me who made it out the city, you know, and let them also let them, allow them to know and see that it's possible to make it out of here. Yeah, I mean, how important is that? You know, obviously you're giving them the skills uh, in, in this camp, but, you know, kind of serving as that role model that, hey, here's somebody that, you know, was in the same situation we were and now, uh, you know, is lacing it up in the NBA. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's an honor, you know, because like I said before, a lot of kids look up to me. And I just feel like it's always been important for me to be able to get back to this community. You know, regardless of what it is I do, you know, it's always important for me to get back to this community. And, you know, the kids really look up to me. You know, and this is very positive. You know, this is something they can, as they get older, they can always be able to do something as far as giving back to their community as well. Now, each day uh, of this camp is kind of different. Talk about today, uh, you know, really really getting the hands today, on. Today, today is a, a really big hands-on day. You know, you got a lot of the young kids from the third through seventh grade who's here uh, who needs, you know, a little more instruction and a little more time. So me getting the opportunity to, you know, hang out and be a lot more hands-on with them, you know, knowing that they're still learning the game. A basketball at an early age so you know today is the third through seventh and then tomorrow comes the high school kids who you know know the game got a good you know uh aspect on the game but just still need a little guidance and you know that's going to be a little more tougher and you know the, that experience is probably going to be a little bit better because i'll be be able to play a little bit more with them now you know talk about you know kind of the level i mean some of these kids you know as young as they are they can handle the ball yeah, very, very yeah, and well. i mean and, and, it, and it amazes me a lot because at, at, at when I was that age, uh, I wasn't handling the ball that well. Uh, I wasn't doing a lot of things these kids are doing because, you know, the fundamentals, the camps like the one I'm running, the fundamentals of the game is coming to them a lot earlier than it was for me. So, you know, I'm just amazed, you know, like a lot of people out here to see these kids at the, so at such a young age, you know, uh, having the ability that they have. Okay. And uh, talk about, you know, Norris. What was that like for you getting to watch him? Uh... Oh, man, it was amazing. I mean, me and Norris always talking, you know, text and keeping contact. And, you know, for him to win another one, you know, uh, it, it's amazing, you know, because, you know, he, he, he not only represents his team and his organization, but he also represents Dayton, you know, and he does a great job of that. And he understands that. And, you know, he's always willing, like I am, to get back to the community. So I'm, I'm just as proud of him, you know, um, I'm like a big brother to him. So, you know, I always just look forward to, you know, seeing him do great things. I mean, could you ever have imagined, you know, from Dunbar High School and then, you know, to, 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 the, to the point where, you know, a, a guy that you played with... Uh, whole, oh, whole man, no, I, I've, I've never imagined it, you know, but the sky's the limit for a guy like Norris who works hard, you know, who never gave up on his, on his opportunity and, you know, he took advantage of it and look where he is now. And it's just all been paying off and he sees that and he's going to continue to work. Now, you know, you said you guys talk all the time. What's maybe the first thing he said to you? Either after the first one or you know. After, well, I after mean, this one. Nah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I pretty much text him, you know, because you know I know I, I, he probably had a lot of people in his ear. I just text him, say congratulations. Uh, you did a great job. You know, we always end with love each other because we do, you know, and uh, we just leave it at that. I just always congratulate him. Then when he come home, you know, we hang out, and we talk a little bit more. But I just always want to just make sure I send him a text just to tell him congratulations. And, you know, stepping back and kind of thinking about the fact that, you know, yourself coming from Dunbar, nor like, just like, not only is this a powerhouse in terms of bringing home state championships, but, you know, really, you know, yeah, taking mean, guys to the next And level. you got to realize, I mean, like you said, I mean, it's a powerhouse and it's becoming one of the, you know, one of the best schools in the state as far as basketball because you got a lot of athletes, a lot of guys that's coming out of here uh, that's playing, you know, D1 basketball, also playing on a professional level as myself and Norris is doing. Um, I mean, it's just amazing and, and we're getting a lot of, you know, acknowledgement for that now and, and you know we feel I mean pretty good about being able to carry that weight and uh, doing it in a positive way. Kind of talk about yourself right now uh, you know kind of settling in uh, with another very good yeah team. yeah I mean it's, it's gonna be good you know to have the opportunity you know to play for the Bulls uh, get an opportunity to play with D Rose I mean it's, it's just gonna be amazing you know uh, I'm looking forward to it next year and uh, we're just gonna go from there you know uh, it's just about this summer just getting better and getting prepared for next season. And, and just talking about your career and, and all the different places that you've been. I mean, you've been. Yeah, you know, I have. I have. This is my, what, seventh year getting ready to come up. So, you know, I've been in Miami for three years, OKC for two years, and then Houston and Chicago split. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's been, a, it's been, a, it's been a, a journey, but, you know, uh, it's been a great experience for me. You know, because everywhere I went, I learned something new and learned something better, and it also helped me with my game. So, you know, I never take none away from, you know, uh, switching from team to team, but it's always a journey. It's always a life, a life lesson out of each, 
you know, situation you're in, so I take some positive out of each one. Do you have maybe a favorite memory or, uh, or you know, a stop along the way uh, know, between, between everything that you've gotten to experience? Um, not really. I mean, it's been so many different experiences and, and, and great, you know, uh, opportunities and things that's been going on. It's kind of tough right now, but I mean, everywhere I've been, it's, it's been, it's been, I've been honored and blessed to be able to, you know, be put in that position and be able to play for each team I've been on. How much have you changed maybe each year or throughout your career from Dunbar to Ohio State oh, to being picked 21st uh, in the draft? Oh, man, it, it, it's changed a lot. I mean, I always said, you know, a lot of guys come out of high school, you know, with that mentality that they're going to be that guy, but everything changes. You know, your role changes. You know, your game has to change. I mean, it's all sacrifices that we all have to make when you go to professional level, knowing that your role is not going to be the same as it was in high school and college. And, you know, I just learned how to adapt to that, you know, and, and, and that's the most important thing and one of the reasons why I'm still in the NBA, you know, and considered as one of the best three-point shooters in the game is because I adjusted and I made the adjustments needed, you know, to fit on the team, you know, to make myself a better player. Okay. Anything else uh, you want to add about anything? Uh, uh, not really. You know, I just, you know, continue. I appreciate the support, you know, throughout the city of Dayton, you know, from from from, from everybody. And, you know, uh, just looking forward to, you know, to continue to do that, you know, uh, down the line.